in this video we're going to tackle all of this mess we're going to clean this all up get rid of this black file put a suitable size number plate on there get rid of this badging i mean maybe you like badging i don't i'm happy with just one manufacturer badge but we don't need to tell anyone that it's an sw for station wagon because it's i mean obvious and ev i mean do we really need anyway i think all of this can come off if you want to keep your badge in i'd recommend peeling this off getting some new vhb tape and then just popping the mg5 over here and putting the sw and ev down here on this little flat lip at the bottom spread it out like a normal car instead of all of this bunched up stuff i don't know it just looks messy we're going to sort this out anyway enough of my waffling Thanks to my wife for the use of the hairdryer. Thanks to All Powers for the S2000, so I don't have to keep lugging an extension lead everywhere. Right, let's use some chemicals now to soften up the rest of the glue residue. So once we remove the front plate off, we can see a little plinth here that uh, gives us an indication of the size plate we want to be looking for. So the height is looking like 140 millimeters, is that? About 140 millimeters by 500 millimeters, 500 millimeters wide. So that must be the size of the Chinese plate. Well, we're not going to achieve that, but we'll get close. Okay, so what do you think then? Was this worth the effort? I mean, MG, they don't know how to put on badges straight, but they sure know how to use some really strong VHB tape to hold these things on. A lot more stubborn than the last couple of vehicles I've taken badges off. Anyway, let me know what you think. So in terms of the solution here, if you're looking to do the same, the plate is a standard 520 mil wide plate, but instead of being 120 mil tall, it's now 140 millimeters tall to match the Chinese height. And um, of course I've put the four screws in, which uh, is kind of nice thing. You don't have a screw in the middle of the letters somewhere and trying to match it with black or yellow or whatever else. The other th controversial thing maybe is the green stripe or known as the flash sometimes. I know some people don't like them. Um, my reasoning is I don't really care about, some people think that it's virtue signaling or whatever. I don't really care about that. The reason that I think that we should put these green stripes on there is just to raise awareness because I've chatted with quite a few people that aren't necessarily against electric vehicles and they don't realise how many electric cars there are already on the road. If every electric vehicle had these green stripes on, I think a lot of people would be surprised actually how many EVs are all around us and we don't even realise it. Anyway, apart from needing to properly wash it and maybe give it another last little polish to get the last few bits off, what do you think before or after have i ruined it or is cleaning the back end up actually something good has it improved it let me know in the comments i'm very interested to see what your thoughts are and uh the plates i got from pro plates there's no affiliation no sponsorship nothing like that but um they were one of the few people that would do me an oversized plate with the green band on it as well front one is just standard height plate although the plinth is still 140 mil high but you can't see it because it's black and uh anyway i'm rambling i'm waffling thanks for watching like and subscribe if this video is helpful to you
I think now with the wheels and cleaning up the back end, just a subtle improvement.